<laughs> Why is it that m- the value of my brand can be recognized by uh, formal financial institutions, even up to the government? It can be recognized when they need me to do something for them. Right. Now, okay, he's strong in this area. Let's go get him so he could provide this service for us. Right. And we could reap the benefit of the strength of his brand. But when I sit down across from you and I need you to do something for me, now the value of my brand is being questioned. Well, I don't know if it's that big. Oh, man, I don't know if he can actually, can he do it again? Well, what else does he have going on? Well, what, what kind of new, what kind of headlines? It's, they have. They create excuses when I need them to do something for me, but they have nothing but praise when they need me to do something for them. This is Why called, is that? This is called the magic of negotiation. <laughs> The seller's job is to overvalue their asset. Okay. The buyer's job is to undervalue that asset. Mm. The negotiation is the the magic is to find a win-win somewhere in the middle. Right. But it is your job to believe that you're worth more than you actually are. And to advocate for that, it is the uh, the person who is trying to buy or leverage or use your business to right. get it for the lowest possible price sure they possibly is. can so they can make a profit. By the way, none of this is personal. Right. we got to stop taking stuff personal. Okay. This, is, this is business. I business is not personal. I go for that. Well, you do know that art comes... Now, now listen. Well, this is hard for an artist to hear because now, everything for an artist I, is personal. I get it. That's, and that's by exact, the way, it's a music business. It, it is, is the, the music business. Music. It is the music business, but okay, before it was the music business, it was music. Okay? And somebody who probably could not uh, uh, cut it as an artist or a maker of music said, well, let's just figure out how to create a business from this. I love this conversation. And that's when all the shit came in the game. You dig what I'm saying? So so Las Vegas right. started from the mafia. Mm. Parts of the music business started from the mafia. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was a business. And they would literally tur- t- take R&B artists and hang them out windows to, ne- quote, negotiate sure. back in the day. Sure they right? would. So Quincy Jones, our friend and mentor, right. has, who's worth $340 million in a bad day. That's enough. After he lost $500 million on the, on the Time Warner uh, AOL deal. So he's worth much more than that. But he says this. If you think you're in the music business and you don't own music rights, publishing rights, licensing rights... You're actually not in the music business. You're a temporary performer. Mm. Work for hire. You're, you're, you're a temporary performer. You're, you're completely replaceable mm. because like this... Like a plumber. Worse. <laughs> the plumber is actually in control of a unique talent that's necessary for life. Mm. A, a temporary entertainer can go out of vogue tomorrow. Mm. Right. You've been in this game so long. You're now a veteran and an elder statesman and you're relevant at the same time. That's brilliant. But most people cannot do that. So Quincy Jones realized that it was about ownership. Mm -hmm. We forget. I hate to say it this way. A church is probably the most noble form of a business. Noble, but noble. But it is a business. Why do you say it's noble? Well, I, 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 I believe I believe the churches are we, we, okay. okay. I'm just, right. I'm I believe, okay. I'm just I, but I, I believe the churches churches have a noble calling. I think uh. the church of Reverend. I think the church. Of, I'm gonna trip you up here. The church the church where Andrew Young pastors uh-huh. is noble. Yeah. The church where Dr. King pastored. Yeah. Was noble. This yeah. is where you find yeah. some common ground. Yeah. We yeah. understand there's yeah. a lot of folks yes. pimping the pimping the pimping sure. the pulpit. They are exceptions to the rule, though. The, but my point was okay. without that week that weekly. Uh, 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 passing of the plate mm-hmm. to pay lights, mortgage, right. salaries of the secretary of the church, they can't survive either. Okay. Whatever it is you want to talk about in the course of your day is a capitalist model. Mm. Even if you want to distribute money like a socialist, you had to first collect it like a capitalist. Mm. What I'm saying is we don't have our business management hat on. Okay. That black artists, artists, but black artists in particular, I need for them to see themselves not just making money, but building wealth. And you build wealth in your sleep. You don't build, you make money during the day, but Ooh. you build wealth in your sleep. Okay. This building is making money for you when you're sleeping. Every, you're, the thing, this show, everything you're doing today, TV shows, I can't, I can't go home and turn on a TV set without looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's making money when you're asleep. Right? right. And, and so you've got to find ways, whether it's, whether it's stocks, bonds, investments, uh, franchises, licensing rights, r- r- something to build wealth and not just get 
paid mm. and, and an emotion around your music confuses you with the business behind that emotion. There is somebody taking advantage uh-huh. of your talent. That's right. And that needs to be you, is my point. That's real. It's not either or, it's both. J- so all the folks who made become billionaires in mm-hmm. your space mm-hmm. didn't make it on singing, dancing, Mm-mm. rocking a mic, running a basketball, r- basketball, football. They did it with the business side right. of that piece once they had a brand. Jay-Z, all these folks we know about. Added revenue stream. Amen. Yeah. So all I'm just saying is we, we never got the memo on money, man. I mean, we ain't it, really never had none for real. Well, and you and know? and by the way, and we just now starting to get some. Like with hip hop, hip hop is the first little means of you know legitimacy, uh, at least in the 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 upper eight figures. Yeah, that that black people had an opportunity to really have the kind of wealth that we needed to to actually wrap our mind around managing. Right, uh, and we all know the first time you get you know something and it's new to you uh you 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 don't necessarily treat it the same with the same kind of respect and uh, you know the same importance as 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 you do once you've had it a while you understand it and you've gotten used to it uh and i think that's what hip-hop is now you know what i mean which is why you're seeing billionaires and jay and then dr dre and now kanye um but you know what money has velocity tip Okay. So if you if you don't have financial literacy in the front end, or you don't learn the lessons in the middle, right? Velocity means that money's not slowing down when it hits your wallet. So if you don't have financial literacy, it, sorry, if let's start with the positive, you do have financial literacy. They become the tip model: stocks, bonds, investments, business, reinvesting in your education. Reinvest. Every time I talk to you, you're up. You're just listening. No. You're, you're How'd you get so smart? Tip, you just nosy as hell. Okay, <laughs> so 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 a lot of people would agree with you on right? that. And 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 then you have, and I'm gonna say something that's controversial, but it's a compliment. You're almost like black Jewish in the sense of way you look at the business side of your balance sheet. You ain't giving away nothing. You're finding value in that, uh, and and re and and making sure that value is leveraged up, even though you're not leveraging your. Uh, real estate, you're ve- leveraging your mind. Mm. So, but the, the here's the negative velocity: you didn't get financial literacy, but you got some money overnight. Right. Jewelry, <sighs> cars, parties, people, your boys traveling, private jets for your friends, and that person's I ain't never going. No that, jets for that, my that's friends. what I'm talking I ain't about. Never did Those that. people I ain't going never did broke. That. All right, they, so, can, they can come with me if I'm getting on one, but I ain't never just ordered up no private jet. Say, y'all have a good time, man. Yeah, See you boxer, when you get back. I won't, I won't name names. There's a boxer in Las Vegas that ordered a private jet for his boys and other private jets for his girls. Well, God, bless, for, God bless. God bless. My billionaire friends don't do that, man. Because they got good sense. Amen. 